First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20, and chapter 30, verse 31. Paul lived in Rome preaching the kingdom of God. When we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to stay by himself with a soldier that guarded him. After three days, he called together the local leaders of the Jews, and when they had gathered, he said to them, Brethren, though I had done nothing against the people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. When they had examined me, they wished to set me at liberty, because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. And he lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ quite openly and unhindered. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Psalm 10, your response, the upright shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world. His gaze tests mortal men. Your response, the upright shall see your face, O Lord. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Your response, the upright shall see your face, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 21, verses 20 to 25. This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things, and we know that his testimony is true. Peter turned and saw following them the disciple whom Jesus loved, who had lain close to his breast at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. The saying spread abroad among the brethren that this disciple was not to die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things which Jesus did. Were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ.